I'm Mike and welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys this uh, maple antique wood cutting board that I made uh, using a table saw and some clamps and a hand plane. So I started making this board by ripping some uh, one and a half inch thick pieces of maple antique through the table saw. You can see here, these two pieces, the kind of darker and more open grain are the teak pieces and the rest is different colored maple. It's pretty cool how that turned out, I think. And uh, once they were all cut, I flattened them with the hand plane, which took a, took a while because most of the boards were like that, cupped. So I had to flatten one side and then flatten the other. So that took, pretty pretty long but uh i finally got it done and uh, once everything was flat i went back over it with the hand plane took out any imperfections in the glue up and uh then i used the hand plane to make these chamfers here along the edges and this morning i applied some mineral oil finish and uh, a little trick I learned from a video on YouTube, I can't remember who it was who posted it, but a trick I learned is that you can actually take a piece of printer paper once you've applied whatever, one or two coats. I did two coats of mineral oil, but you can take your printer paper and just rub the surface of the cutting board and that just smooths it out and polishes out the finish. That is super smooth now. Um, wood has a grain direction. This right here, I don't know if you can see it, but this wood is coming up like this. If you, the wooden grain and uh, wood has a direction of the grain and if you can see here this grain runs up this way which means when you run the hand plane over going with the grain it'll be a lot easier to uh, hand plane that wood and you won't get you won't get much tear out but if you plane against the grain you'll get a fair bit of tear out and one of the mistakes that I made making this board is I didn't uh, line up all the all the uh, grain directions when I was gluing up this board, so I had I couldn't plane it without getting tear out. Another mistake that I made was uh, clamping it up too tight. When I uh, put on the clamp here, let's let's show you guys. I used this pipe clamp. This was the first clamp that I used to uh, clamp it up oh, I'm getting dust all over this thing but I clamped it up and I squeezed it as tight as I could and that just pulled the wood just s s like squished it together really tight and wood couldn't handle that so it kind of angled like this so now I've got kind of an angle on each plank here but that's not really a big deal. Just something to avoid in the future. If you're wondering what finish I used, I used this Watch Watco Butcher Block oil finish. It's basically mineral oil. So yeah, 
that's it. And uh, thank you guys for watching.